Hello, welcome back or welcome to my channel. It's Sunshine Lorena and this is vlog for week number two of winter edition of Mixtape Readathon. Hi guys, so it is Sunday evening, okay, and I'm only just filming this intro. Um, I have not read anything so far today. We had friends over for lunch, so no reading has been done. But I'll just kind of catch up if you haven't seen last week's vlog um, for the first week of the readathon. Um, I am partway through two books. So at the moment, I'm still on going with Immune, um, which is written by Philip Detmere. And it's uh, he has a YouTube channel in a nutshell. Um, and I'm reading this as part of the tandem read along. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I need to catch up on some days' pages, but it is really accessible. It's really interesting about the immune system. I'm really enjoying it. And I'm actually learning a lot as well um, and I just I love the diagrams in here as well and this should be helping me tick off like a new to me author um, and like free choice on the bingo board. I'm also reading Shiver by Ali Reynolds and this is for setting as setting as part of the plot or I can't remember the exact wording of the which way it goes around but that's what I'm using it for. It is a thriller it's taking place in um, France but it's on a ski resort but it's before the season starts so it's still off season. Um, this group of people who used to be friends but they haven't really been in contact have been gathered and they all think that somebody in the group invited them and it turns out that it was none of them um, and now there's things that kind of happening and quite clearly somebody's gathered them there for a purpose. Um, one member of the group had had died a few years died a few years so had went missing a few years before. Um so it's kind of like that mystery. You're getting like the ten years before chapters and the current one. And I'm much of that far into it. I think I'm about 20%. I'm enjoying it so far. Um so yes, those are the two books I'm focusing on. But I need to try and catch up on immune. <laughs> um just I'm gonna be reading that for most of the evening. Probably won't get to shiver, but we'll see how it goes. But yes, this is gonna be this vlog basically. Um and I still need to kind of pick up um for the indie small press um bingo board card as well but hopefully I should be able to get it done all this week and keep you up to date with all of my thoughts um tomorrow back to work again and yeah I will be working from home at least but yeah nothing much we had friends over for lunch like I said so I had a, a busy day and yeah that's it for the moment I will speak to you later on Tuesday early evening I'm just back from work and I thought I'd just give you a little bit of an update you'd have seen this morning and um, I was editing last week's vlog and um, the first week of this readathon and um, I still have to finish up about halfway through I will do that this evening um, I have quite a few reading updates to give you so first of all I mean um, I still need to catch up on the pages however I'm now on page 186 so I'm more than halfway through now and um, we've just been going through the section on viruses and it's been so interesting it's been really really interesting seeing how like a virus works how it multiplies in your body and effectively how you end up with the flu the cold any type of virus and um, it's been really interesting and um, so we're still kind of going through that process um of what's going on in the body sorry i was like losing my book mark there so yes yeah, so it's really interesting um and yeah i think he's just he's laid out really well he's really building on the information he's given me previously so it's just like a slow build of information and knowledge and i'm really enjoying it um but yeah that's great yes so um at lunchtime at work i read a few more percent of shiver by ali reynolds so i'm now like 18 percent of the way through um, i'm enjoying it um i read that at lunchtime because the other book i'm reading which is i'm gonna get to the moment another one the ice planet barbarian series obviously was not lunchtime work reading um but yes i'm enjoying it um it's one that i'm not picking up as much because i need to catch up on the pages on this and then that that's like my main focus and then you know in the ice planet barbarian one is quite quick so ice planet barbarians it's the third book this one is called barbarian lover i think um i must continue the series guys it's their trashy but you know they're really quick reads the reason why i actually selected it was because 
of the prompt around the self club small press indie author prompt um and yeah i started reading it and i did go and upgrade it on storygraph and goodreads and then i had like this different cover and i was like and it's a special edition and i was like why is it special edition because i knew these were like self-published ones so apparently there were some special editions printed ones and um, these were originally self-published so now i'm just like i don't know do i count this as self-published because it technically is i'm reading it on kindle limited and then it seems like i don't know if it was just a small print and actually i probably should just check actual amazon at the moment it's because the cover was completely different from the other ones um which kind of twigged for me of why it was different because that's not the cover that's on amazon on the kindle unlimited edition yeah you see the if you go to paperback they do have like the the special edition one um but i don't know because it's done by berkeley and it says us i think it's maybe just in america they printed some special editions but you know what, I'm going to count it as self-published because it was originally self-published. Um, and it's super short, super quick, and I'll just get it out, out of the way. That's what I'm going to do because I don't have time to pick up um, a same page, which was the original one that I had down for, like, self-published indie author, um, uh, by which is by uh, an ins Instagrammer, um, and it's on Kindle Unlimited. And I am going to read it at some point. I just know that I'm not going to finish it in this week since, you know, focusing on this to get this done, read in time with the read-along, and then to be able to post a review of this, like a full review um video as well so yes we don't have time and you know i still need to get through shiver which i think once i'm into it i've got a good run of reading i will finish it really quickly but that's it for me from the moment i yes i am gonna be cooking dinner reading editing i need to finish editing that's the big focus of this evening and that's it for me and i will catch up with you tomorrow maybe probably not tonight because i'm not gonna have anything to update you on but yeah it's been a busy, it's a busy work week, busy life week, um, but I will get these prompts done and I really need to look at the, the other ones. I'll look at the other ones, like the self-care ones, etc. and I'll update you in my next update. But that's it for me, for the moment. <laughs>
And yeah, that's it. I did like my food shopping and went a little bit more local this time. I'm trying to be better because like close to me, there's like a greengrocer. So I got a bunch of stuff from there. And then there's like a zero waste shop. And um, so I got some spices and stuff there. And they do like pulses and pasta. And like, I'm just, I'm trying to buy things like that, but more did go to Lidl because it's Greek week. And first of all, the olive oil, so good. The Kalamata olives, fantastic. And then they have like these like stuffed like green peppers and like red chili peppers with like soft cheese. I got like some cretin cheese and like, it's just, it's good. It's not like my favorite week a little. Um, Italian one has a lot of stuff, I like the Spanish one, but like the Greek one has some good stuff. Like the, the tzatziki, like much better than what you'd get like Asda or Tesco or whatever. Um, and just, mm good um and that's it for this update guys um you're not here for me talking about my food shop um but yes that's a pizza and i gonna probably watch a film and reading and that's it and i will speak to you tomorrow guys The readathon I ended yesterday, so I'm just popping on to give you final thoughts on books and wrap this up. Um, so I finished Immune yesterday, and um, now I will have like a few review, a full review on my channel, which will be up for this vlog, definitely. Yeah, it will be. Um, so yes, I finished this yesterday, got through those last pages. It was more that last section was more about like how things in practice kind of work in the world. There was a little bit on. COVID-19 but not too much because at the time of writing the book the vaccine program was kind of just kind of starting so yeah and you're not going to know the full long-term effects essentially for years around coronavirus and how it actually impacts people's bodies but that was interesting and yeah there was little you know sections a little bit on like what you can do to boost your immunity I would have liked to add more of that um, but I still think it's really good I think I've learned a lot from this book um, but yeah I will have my full review up and thoughts on that on my channel and um, um, then the Ice Planet Barbarians third book, um, finished it yesterday as well. I'm giving that three stars. I just felt in this one our couple, you just you didn't get that much from the relationship or the build up as we did in the other ones. This was like, I don't know, there wasn't as much. So that's why it's like three stars, but I'm still enjoying it. I'm still gonna probably continue on with the series. Um, but on the afterward, this was like the kind of original three couples she kind of had in her mind. She didn't know if it was gonna be a series originally, um, like as in if there would be the demand. Um, so then we're gonna start going into other couples that are there at the moment. But I'm gonna pick up the honeymoon story of them. Um, in the, the fourth one at some point um i have not finished shiver i haven't read that much more of it but i will get it done by the end of january guys um so yes didn't finish that one but yes i will get it done uh yeah so that's it in terms of reading updates i did not do so well on the readathon as i normally do but i you know it was it's an easy chill readathon so i am glad that you know i got all the books done that so i'm glad that i got most of the books done um but i've really enjoyed it and yeah let me know if you took part uh, comment like subscribe and I I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.